to about four metres from the try line. Sant looks to go himself, and he has grounded the ball. That's the first try. try. That will try on Malta, and that will tie the score up at four points each. He found the gap. He's very quick, nippy, nippy little player. You cannot underestimate any one of these Maltese players. And as we said, Sant's got the, the background in him playing at a top level. Action all set from here. Malcolm Atter going in with the ball. Bouncing off three defenders. Luke Sand passes to Daniel Grima. Tries to make his ran, way in. Ran away from Ben Young. Attracted the second defender. Split them up the middle. That's created the space. Straight up behind the ruck. And Luke Sant makes no mistake with grounding the ball. Referee Phil Brown is on the spot and awards the first Maltese try of this international friendly. Now, a discussion point before the match was the, the goal kicker, and uh, the unanimous decision went to Roderick Attard, who will be given the goal kicking duties this afternoon, this evening. Again, the referee will make an astute decision as to whether the ball crosses over the post and That's between kick. the posts, and that is converted. 6 4. And we actually lose our first rugby ball of the afternoon, going into the adjoining school or factory next door to the Victor Victor's Tedesco Stadium. May become an issue if we uh, see a few more tries this evening. So watch that conversion once again. Atard takes a deep, big deep breath after two measured steps backwards and then another two steps back to the left. One more look at his target. A deep breath. Whoa. Jogs in and strikes it right Nicely over. placed. Indeed a good kick. The touch judges wave their intentions as to the conversion. And that takes Malta to a 6-4 lead after 26 minutes of play. Bomber Bridge, I guess that their coach shouldn't be very happy by now. I mean, coming here, they definitely didn't come here to lose. I mean, definitely I'm not. not saying that we're going to win this game, but... Lee, Lee Sumner would come here with high expectations. I, I know you're playing against the national team and they are what is an, an amateur rugby league club, but um, they have uh, high ability, this, this team. Um, and they, they, as, as you said, they don't, they don't travel to the airport on Thursday morning, <coughs> take a three-hour flight to Malta, uh, expect to come here and, and, and wave, uh, wave, wave their hands at the Maltese uh, attack and defence for that matter. They'll be out there to put a, a dominant Especially after the positive run they're, they're going to at the moment. Indeed, undefeated in three fixtures, and I'm sure they'll be looking to keep, keep that pos positive run going. Uh, they're expecting to be one of the dominating teams in that Northwest Counties division that they participate in. And uh, almost a fumble at the back there by the, by the Bamber Bridge winger, but he did knock the ball backwards, so the referee blows play on. Take it again. Bamber Bridge bring the ball back up. Swalbrick looks for his next runner. Finds a big barn standing forward who takes on Malta's Chris Parker, who plays his debut match here today. A lot of inspiration being taken from Parker's appearance for Malta, being that he plays at such a high level. He actually plays with another fellow Malta international that's not unavailable for this fixture today, but that is Luke Brannigan, playing halfback for the Gates at Thunder, and he's an ex-NRL player. And um, it was actually through Luke Brannigan that the Malta Rugby League learnt of Chris Parker's eligibility for Malta. It's always... Cool. He's definitely of a big asset to the Maltese team. Solid. Playing at such a high level. And an imposing figure as well. A lot of size about him that'll help the Maltese. And there he is, the first one in for that big hit on the Bamber Bridge player who takes the ball up forward. Oh, and the referee lets that pass go. A, 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 line, a line ball call, I guess. Just slightly maybe went backwards as Ben Young boy. makes the forward movement over that first defender. <coughs> and the ball comes right. Beats the first defender, but the ball comes loose and Roderick Attard quickly cleans that up as Mike Cortez gets possession again. The Maltese very close to this left sideline, getting dominated in defence, but partly the reason was that the Bamber Bridge defence was offside, offside and the referee has caught on that. Penalty for Malta. Penalty for Malta. And again, the Maltese will take the opportunity here gaining 
another set of six tackles as Damien Duncan Damien Duncan has a few words to the referee which he's indeed allowed to do so because he is the captain ball taken in by Chris Parker who passes to Grima Grima passes to Attard Attard tackled Luke Sant ships the balls out to Grima again who takes in a further 10 meters Down this right side, Atar finds Bartlett. And the Bamber Ridge defense quick to make a move on him as they see him within about five meters of that sideline. Sound to Atar, finds Parker. Okay. Looks to offload, he does, back to Atar. Before he gets a tackle away, finds Malcolm Atar. And now the ball with, is that Daryl Psyla? Daryl Psyla. Yeah, so should have just kept running towards the line there. It's probably lacking the rugby league experience you know he looked for, for support he's looking for territory and support but he really should have believed in himself to run towards towards the try line as Marco Matard now picks up a loose ball out the back Maltese eager to get on with the goal good lovely chip and kid, chase by Luke kid, Sant kid, and that is a beautiful try. try great experience shown by Luke Sant he saw them willing. The, the, the winger was much towards the sideline. Their fullback on the other side of the field. Found the space right behind. Took the opportunity. Straight from hooker. There he one, looks. One look up. Straight over the top with Big Ben Young. Beautiful regather. And Luke Sant crosses for his second try in about five minutes of play. And that is just what the doctor ordered. Maltese players come to rejoice and congratulate Luke Sant on putting them up to ten points to four. Again, very skillful play. Nice regather and beats the winger coming across there. Danny Keane could not get there in time. And in fact, it was the uh, Danny Keane's opposite number, Tyson Freeman, one of the first players there to congratulate Luke Sutt on the try. This side uh, couldn't have come at a better time, I guess, Andy. Indeed, indeed. Maltese were looking. 10 minutes for, for the half time. 10 minutes before half time. They struggled to get on the board. It was a good 20, 25 minutes before they did score. And now they've 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 pierced the uh, pierced the Bamber Bridge defense twice in a, in a, as I said a number of yeah. about five minutes five, of play. Five minutes. We're, we're looking we started to take we started very slowly, but we're gaining and gaining and gaining. I mean, it, it, it may be a show of the um, of the weather conditions on this English team. They certainly don't play in conditions like this. I'm sure this is the warmest conditions they've ever had to endure for a rugby league game. But the Maltese with the home game must take advantage of that Definitely. of that home advantage if they stuck together a lot of potential in this Maltese yes, national definitely, team definitely definitely as well the rugby community mm. the rugby players that are in, involved in Maltese rugby league mm. a big bright future ahead definitely and the conversion by Roderick Hattard takes the ball the the, the ball game scoreline to 12 points to 4 in favor of Morta mm. again kick by Bamber Bridge deep into Maltese territory but a great return by the Maltese again the gang tackles three in the tackle and defense Paul Burge attracting all those defenders ball taken in by Yosef Zara Yosef Zara a cousin of Mark Cortez I believe cousin cousin bit of a family bond out there and ball Daniel Grima makes a run finds oh tries to find his <clears throat> his teammate in Malcolm Atard on the right side. The ball did go down, but the referees kept play on. Okay, curiosity killed the cat, and I thought that the play might be called called back. And now referee Phil Brown blows a penalty in favor of Malta as well. But Daniel that, that wasn't a knock on, Anthony. It wasn't. No, that was knocked on. Actually, it wasn't knocked back by one of the Bamber Beach boys. There you go. My, must be uh, the old age getting the better of me, and uh, looking across that far. And they'll be looking to score another try, which will be worth four points in rugby league, as we know. Slightly different to the uh, alternate rugby code that is rugby union, whereas it's five points. But Malta Malti is, is strong on the attack here. Again, Paul Borge dominated by three defenders. He gains a penalty because the defenders would just not let go of him. Damon Duncan is not happy about the decision. Probably saying that the, ta that the tackle was complete, but Phil Brown won't have any of that. Favorite position from here. Yeah, six tackles straight Taking at the line. Taken by Saila. Five metres out. 
Sala brought down. Sat looks right and finds Yosef Zara, who's well taken by the Bamboo Bridge defense. And the ball has come loose, but again, a penalty to Malta. Two hands in, oh, hands all over the ball. And when there is two players in the tackle.